because everything I say is always regarding ranked, okay? Not pubs. Vantage is an A-tier legend. All right, so obviously, I don't want to say obviously because there will be players that don't know this. So, but let's let's speak on, on Vantage for a little bit. So, Vantage, her passive, I don't see Vantage players use her passive as much as they should, but this is a part of her passive. If Vantage doesn't have a weapon equipped, if she just has her weapons holstered and it's just her hands, if you, if you hold the aim down sight button, Vantage can zoom in. A three times zoom, like a like a three times optic, she literally has that built in. Built in, and she can scout around like this and just spot things out like that. You have that option always available to you as Vantage. That's incredibly powerful. Remember, we're speaking on ranked. I don't care about pubs. Another powerful thing about Vantage, let's be honest, this is the most impactful part of Vantage's kit. It's her ultimate. This ultimate right here, Sniper's Mark. I'm going to explain how it works because I feel like there's some players that don't understand one thing about it. So, when Vantage hits a target with her Sniper, she marks them. That doesn't necessarily just spot the enemy because, let's be honest, you can barely see the, the spot. What it does is it means that all damage that that enemy takes that was just marked, they take 15% increased damage. 15% increased damage. So let's let's look at this real quick. Let's just look at this real quick. Let's grab a flat line. That's not a flat line. All right, let's grab a flat line. Target here. Let's drop the speed 20. So flat line in the body is 18. 18 per bullet in the body. Right here. But if Vantage marks somebody, That's now 20. That might not seem like a lot. Oh, it's just two shots. It's just, or excuse me, it's just two more damage. But remember, this is Apex Legends ranked we're talking about. How many times do you end up in a fight and you're, you literally finish the fight and you win it with one HP left? If you're marked, that makes a big difference. And again, that's just one bullet. Advantage is hit. If, if you're getting hit with a flat line while you're marked, you're getting, each round is two additional damage. But it's more than, they're hitting you with just one flatline round. So the more rounds that are hitting you, it literally is an increasing amount. Let's use math. Let's do a little bit math. Let's do a little bit of math real quick. So flatline by default is 18. So let's say somebody hits you in the body five times with a flatline for, eight, for 18 damage. That's 90 damage. But let's say you're marked and you get hit five times. Now you got hit for 100 damage. Big difference, huh? Big difference, huh? But five, five shots is still cutting it really low. So let's use a different example. But hopefully you're starting to see now that every little increase in damage matters in Apex Legends. All right, let's use the R3. So R3 by default in the body is 14. But if you're marked, let's see how much that is. 16. Two more damage. So let's use another example. So let's say you, get, you, let's say you got shot. With 10 rounds, you have a level 3 body shield and you got shot with 10 rounds from an R301. That's 140 damage. You'll survive that if you have a level 3 body shield. You'll survive it. 140 damage. But now let's look if you were marked. 160. 20 additional damage just for being marked. 20 additional damage. Let's use another example. You can keep going and going with the power of Vantage's ult. And there's still more to it that I haven't even talked about yet. So hang on. Let's say you have on your team. Or let's say Vantage has a Pathfinder on her team. And this Pathfinder is a longbow monster. This path just does not miss with his longbow. Longbow in the body is 55. But if, if Vantage marks somebody. A longbow in the body becomes 60. Three. 63. So let's let's do a little bit of math. Let's say you got shot with a longbow three times. This path that doesn't miss with his longbow, you got shot with it three times. That's 165 damage. But let's say you got marked and now you're about to get hit with it three times. How much damage is that? Hmm? 189. That's over 20 plus damage. Vantage's ultimate is so powerful. It's more than just a sniper. Being marked means something. A lot of players get marked by Vantage's sniper and they keep peeking. 
They keep peeking after they've been marked, and then they get knocked instantly so fast. Because now Vantage's, Vantage and her team is dealing so much damage to you because you're marked. That's what it means. It doesn't mean you just spot it. It means you're, you're literally about to take big damage. Respect it. Respect Vantage's ultimate. When you see a Vantage pull out her, her ultimate, you see the laser. You see the laser. She has her laser out. A lot of players are like, some players don't like to use her ultimate too much because they're afraid that they might give away their position because of the laser. And yes, that's true. But at the same time, that enemy team has to also respect your laser. They have to stay away from the range of your laser. Your laser is like a, a, a long Jedi lightsaber. That's the laser. Because if that laser makes contact with the player, that player is going to take a, a bullet. That player is going to take Vantage's bullet. It's 50 in the body. 50 in the body. And I said when Vantage marks somebody, it deals a 15% increased damage. Well, Vantage's sniper is an exception. Her sniper deals more than 15% damage if she hits you with it. If she hits you with it a second time, it deals a complete 100 damage. Watch. Let me, let's kill this. Let's kill this dummy real quick. It goes, it goes, it goes straight from 50 to 100. There's 50, 100. Just like that. Now, I want to say something else too about Vantage and her ultimate. But in Apex Legends, the, the further you shoot somebody from, so I'll say like this. If I, if I pull the trigger with a longbow, the, the longer the bullet travels, the bullet actually gets bigger to make it easier to hit targets at long range. Isn't that interesting? Well, Vantage's ultimate, her sniper's mark, does the same thing way more significantly than any other weapon in the entire game. Let me showcase this. All right, so we see I'm clearly not, this, this should not hit the dummy, right? This shouldn't hit the dummy. Dummy's dead. Because, like I said, her sniper, the sniper's mark, the bullet is bigger than any other gun, any other gun in the entire game. The further you are away from the target, the, the bigger the bullet becomes for any weapon, but especially for her sniper. Let's get back some more. Let's, let's get some more distance. Let's get some more distance. Let's see. Will this hit the dummy? Look at that. Will that hit? That hit. That hit. Will this hit? I'll be, I don't know if this will hit. Let's see. That hit. That hit. That's Vantage's ult. Van players don't use her ult enough. Some some Vantage players do. Some Vantage players know the power of her ultimate. Good. But some don't, don't utilize it enough because they're afraid of the fact that it has a laser. Who cares? Vantage and ranked, I'm not going to lie, is often free RP. It's it's free KP. Because if you see a team fighting out in the distance, and like like they're they've been fighting for a long time, pull your sniper out and get free shots over there and, and get a free knock. You saw what, what can happen. One one shot, 50 damage. Another shot is a hundred. There's a chance that they've been fighting for so long, at least one person's cracked already. You never know. That one bullet might be enough to get you 1kp just like that. Just like that. For free. Her sniper is a built-in. She has a built-in constantly recharging baby Kraber. That's her ultimate. If she didn't have her tactical or her passives, she would still be an A-tier legend just because of the fact of how powerful her sniper is and ranked. Free KP. That's the reason why a lot of vantages, when they pull her sniper out, they just don't miss. Because, like I said, the bullet is bigger than any other in the entire game. And times, at times where it seems like it shouldn't hit, it just hits because of that mechanic where the bullets get bigger over range. Don't forget to follow LV. Don't forget to sub to my YouTube. Hey. Hey. Hey.